Kenny Chesney is in with us, and uh, it's always good to have Kenny in. I meant to tell you uh, earlier that Bubba went on a, he went to a concert. <laughs> he spent money on a concert. No, now, wait a minute. What concert? Well, wait a second. Wait a minute. Before, it, no, before he goes, no, can no, I you defend can't myself? No, you can't tell your own story. I have to tell it. He went to, it's his anniversary. It's a very special time, man. How many years? Uh, nine years. Nine years. A big time, Kenny. When so, was it? Uh, it was uh, a few weeks back. So he goes to Chicago just to go to a concert. He and his wife spent the evening watching New Kids on the Block. Wow. Whoa. Well, how's it going? What's the little, what's the little um, thing they do? Uh, 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 oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. You really did? No, wait, yes, wait, wait. I did. Let me tell you. She, that's all. I said, "What do you want for your, for the anniversary?" And she's like, I, yeah, huh? "You know what? I want to go to the concert." It's so powerful. I said, "Okay." And it's it's, it's powerful. It's powerful. And <laughs> that's how it makes told, you do things that they, I took. I took <laughs> pictures. I took pictures, and I swear you cannot find another man There's in the no, entire uh, arena. It was a sold out show, and it was nothing but the smell of sweat and estrogen, and it was completely <laughs> like being uh, at male stripper night at some local bar uh, or something. It was crazy. Wow. Ladies were out of control. It he, was an experience. He said they were making signs that say like, "Oh I'll, no, we can't. We have to skip with the signs." How did say. that? How, I mean, how was that watching those grown men act like? I mean, I don't know. How old are they now? You know, they still do that little dance where they grab like their little thing right here and they do that little, I don't know, I can't even fake it. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. yeah. The little bouncy thing. Yeah, they were doing all their little dances and I'm like, oh, wow, wow this that's, is so that's weird. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> that's sweet. And they got to go backstage and meet them. You know, well, we went to the sound check. Oh. Okay. And, oh, she loved it. Hey, man. Okay, whatever, you, whatever you got to do for your wife, you got to do. Happy yeah. anniversary, buddy. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> Okay, can we move on? A lucky old son. Uh, the album with Kenny Chesney is out. You want to go pick it up? It's awesome. See, I've already changed his. Changed his <laughs> I see that. I see that. Wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll talk uh, with Kenny Chesney. Hang on a second. It's uh, Big D and Baba. Well, uh, Kenny Chesney's uh, album is out. It's called Lucky Old Son. Uh, Bubba, you have it in the. Oh, there it is. Do you have it in the, in the CD player? Uh, I did. But I wanted I took to it out um, because you know I, I I was thinking about uh, doing something. Well, you know, Kenny, we never plan anything out. Um, <laughs> okay. I thought it'd be kind of cool. You know when you get like a DVD and you have the the extra footage or whatever and you you watch the movie and it like says it has like the director saying, "Oh, well this scene right here we were." I thought it'd be kind of cool like to play like like a part of the, the you know some of the songs on here right. and I have like Kenny like uh, making comments about it. Okay. No here problem. It'd be easy to add up all the pain. This is the song with Dave Matthews. Um, one of the first songs I wrote for the Lucky Old Son album. Actually, I recorded this song. Uh, I produced a Willie Nelson record, and Willie recorded this song first. What were you wearing whenever you recorded this song? When I recorded the song, I was wearing some... Um, I don't remember. I was wearing probably some um, khakis, New Balance shoes, and a t-shirt. <laughs> probably. That's, That's what I wear all the time. It's exactly the same thing you're wearing right now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go into the uh, next song here. Let me uh, cue into it a little bit, and here we go. Cut off the mail. By the way, the album is awesome. Thank you, man. This song I wrote the uh, day after Christmas in 2005. Um, and, uh, Where were you at? I was I was leaving Knoxville, Tennessee, going to um, St. John, actually, down to, to my boat. And my I was right in the middle of my breakup with Renee Zellweger. And this is one of the songs that came from it. I was like really pissed off <laughs> yeah that's where the good stuff comes from man <laughs> you know so yeah this is this is one of the songs that i wrote from that all right going to the next uh, song on the album this is great man this is stuff you cannot get anywhere else well if you get the dvd this is a song called boats i wrote it with dean dylan and scotty emmerich and um i think that people that have boats in their life i think they're emotionally attached to them in a lot of different ways um Either it's a sense of healing, a sense of freedom, and, you know, uh, maybe it's, for any other reason, just spill drinks on them, you know, but uh, which, all three of those relate to me, you know, so, uh, you know, I, I, we, we played that in Key West a couple of times uh, last year, and uh, and that's kind of, this. I just recorded this song, we were down in the marina in Key West uh, before we played. And it, this song fit really, really good on a boat. So if anybody's down there listening, or anybody that's that that's that lives around the water that that wants to, I think this 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 song and this record, the whole record, would fit just perfect on your boat. All right, here we go with another one. Of course, everybody knows this song because we play the heck out of it. 
This is the first single off the record. I recorded this song with um, the Whalers, which I thought Bob was Marley cool. And I didn't the realize that was really them in the background. Yeah, that's uh, at the end of the song uh, on the album version. We're on a beach in Jamaica when we were recording the vi- when we were shooting the video for the song. I'm going to skip forward to that part. So Go ahead and skip on up. You tell the story. Well, we were um, in the middle of Jamaica on the north shore of Jamaica. Um, rec- uh, shooting the video for Everybody Wants to Go to Heaven. And th- when we were done, there we are. There's Family Man right on the beach. And uh, had this little stereo recorder. And um, we just sang Everybody Wants to Go to Heaven a couple of times through. Did I already miss so, part of it? I think you missed it. Let's go back a little bit. Isn't this great? <laughs> but that's, that's, that I think that, that really, really made this song, especially you know, if you're listening to it on, on your... There he is. Everybody wants to go to heaven. Get in the wings and fly around. You know, that makes you just Everybody one removed from Bob Marley. <laughs> it was really cool, though, to really hear their stories about Bob Marley. And so now we're, we're, we're like in that, though. We're connected now. Yeah, because you are. we're two removed from Bob Marley. If you no think about it, about we go through it. Kenny and then through the Whalers. Hey. Okay. That's cool, man. It's they're the going the, to be my band in the CMA Awards. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, really that's are. cool. Pretty cool. That that's really awesome. Cool. Uh, the album is uh, it's out. Pick it up. It's called Lucky Old Son. It's uh, Kenny Chesney. Uh, pick it up. You can also uh, head to uh, KennyChesney dot com and are you selling CDs on your website too, or do you know? Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> you can get them at the auto parts store. That's right. <laughs> you probably can. Oil, I'll take that oil filter and that Kenny Chesney yeah, CD, I'll... please. <laughs> Kenny's can see. Hey, man. Thanks for having me back. I appreciate it, guys. All right, it's a big D and Baba.